Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Wednesday the 14th of February, the local media headlines today. Almost all our media caught up with the news that the hall for Cornwall in Truro is to close for nearly two years for major refurbishment. The work's going to cost nearly £20 million. The Falmouth Packet was among those to celebrate the glitzy new dawn, which will see more than 1,300 seats in a new auditorium. The bad news, as covered by Cornwall Reports two weeks ago, is that many of the people who currently work there will lose their jobs. Cornwall Live reported the story of a 14-year-old boy who was taken to hospital with leg wounds after an alleged stabbing incident in St Austell. Police are looking for two youths. BBC Cornwall had news of a husky dog which was hit and then dragged by a hit-and-run van driver in Newquay. The animal was badly injured. The Cornish and Devon Post helped celebrate the success of the Arundel Arms at Lifton, which has got its AA rating improved from three stars to three silver stars. And finally, the Cornish Times told us how great minds think alike, especially in Panto land in places like Down Derry and Polbathic. For the second year running, and apparently entirely by accident, the neighbouring villages have chosen to do the same Panto. Last year Cinderella, this year Robin Hood. And that's what's making the news in our local media today. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.